Hey everyone, I got this uh, hand generator from an American company called KTOR. Um, I found it online. I wanted something to charge my flashlights, MP3, cell phones for, for uh, power loss, um, or if you're going camping, or it's just great to have if you don't have a generator. This will do um, 10 watts. And uh, this is a simple box it comes in. Open it up. This is what you'll see in here. It's the handheld generator and instruction manual. Let's break this out. <clears throat> Here's the device itself. I'll give some measurements here in a minute. But it has the name here. This rubber band. And of course it opens up. Let's remove the rubber band here. Opens up, see there's the handle. Opens up like so. Nice economic, ergonomic, excuse me, uh, grip to put your hands on. And I'll bring it up here a little bit better so you can see it. Good grip right here. This is kind of a raised plastic to give some grip on it. Here's the side here. All right, all the dimensions here. Let me close it up here. <clears> the <throat> overall dimensions here, the length. We're looking at just uh, seven and three quarters, correction, six and three quarters in length. The overall width, um, looking to be about two and a half. Give and take about two and two two and a half to shy of two and a half. Does ten watts of power. Two cranks per second is about what the the average uh, charging rate. And uh, here's the end here. Nice thing about it is that it doesn't have to take a certain plug or a uh, certain. Uh, uh, connector like this, like a lot of the handheld charger one. This one just takes a regular uh, US plug and uh, plug it in, and you start cranking, and it will supply power to your device to charge it. In this case, it's uh, my wife's MP3 player, Apple MP3 player. Um, for those overseas that don't use the US plug, um, there is an option when buying this that you can get European plugs um, already installed instead of the standard American, I believe. And of course, for us Americans who are going overseas, these are adaptable with the overseas um, travel plugs, so you can use this as well overseas with uh, different plugs. So I'm just gonna demonstrate a quick uh, charging method here. This will be my first time along with you viewing this. And of, uh, once I'll just show you real quickly how it works. And then um, later on, I'll put a better video up of uh, other things that can charge. So let me assemble this here real quick here. I'll put this plug on like so. And this rubber band aids in holding, if it was a bigger adapter, in this case, it's not that big, but you know some of the other ones are pretty big adapters. Um, would actually uh, be used to um, aid in holding the, holding it if need be while you're charging the device. I could probably put it the other way, but for now I'm just winging it. So excuse me, this is not a very okay, like so. I'm gonna hook the other side up here to the uh, wife's MP3 player which is, I believe, I don't know how to use this one, I think I hit the power button on top. Completely dead. I'm hitting this one. Wait, here comes something. As you see, it is completely dead. So, with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and charge it up. Okay, I'm going to put it up in the distance here. Try to stand over the camera and watch you charge it up. Prop this up for you can see some kind of result of my. Okay, here we go. Mm. 
and you can see the battery is turned on. Okay guys, I set this up in a dark room for you can see it better. I couldn't see it that great when the light was on, so I had it set up to the um, the charger hand crank uh, generator here, and I'm going to zoom up a little bit for I'm going to start cranking, and you could be able to see the indicator turn on saying it's getting a charge. So let us begin. There you go, you have a battery indicator. It's not, not really, it's not hard to pull. It's like almost uh, a little resistance to it. And it says go ahead and keep it up. It's almost like, there's a red indicator. One other thing you want to look at here, at the end of the, uh, it will start fading out here in a second, but you can see there's a red light indicating there's power going through it. So, come up here a little bit. So you can see as I turn it. Okay, I'm not moving that quick. Okay, guys, this is the device hooked up with the phone or iPod. You can see it's uh, pretty good size. Uh, not well, actually, it's not too bad, but it's okay size, small enough. Um, I don't know the exact weight on it. I'll get the weight on it, but you can see is, uh, I mean, compared to a can of beans, standard can, it would be soup or whatever. For size comparisons here, I mean, let me take the adapter off here. So. This is it. This is it with the folding down and the storage position here. I mean, you can see as far as uh, size comparison, but yeah, uh, it is lighter than the can, so I mean, we're we're winning there. But uh, so it throws out here. Um, it's called Ktor. Uh, it's an American company. I ran across it on the internet. Um, I just got it today, so I'm just doing a brief uh, presentation of it. I'll do some more in the future. But it's a, gay, uh, it's a great buy for a piece of kit for your preps or for emergency situations, storms, power outages. You can charge battery packs, cameras. Take it with you when you're not sure if um, you're not going to be able to charge it through a car charger. Never rely on that. And uh, it's just a good thing to have. It doesn't hurt to have it. And I bet you it does hurt not to have it. So. Uh, okay, piece of kit. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll do some more reviews on it. Any questions, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Um, I'll put the uh, size, and I'll weigh it, and I'll put that in the description below also. So uh, thanks for watching, and you guys take care.